And I, so today, Lulu Lombard has popped Hello. up. For the second time yes. to the museum. You came in, oh, when was that? It was April? Yeah, April. April, back in April. So you bought today, you've come with these two things. You've traveled yes. on the Eurostar. Yes. From, uh, well, I live near Disneyland, so I had to get those two through the Disneyland security. Mm -hmm. They were asking what they were. Mm -hmm. have a look close. <laughs> so we've got in here, this is a box one, funnily enough, it's around the same yeah. thing yes. as this mini tower came around. A little bit, for anybody not aware, what is the Minitel? So the Minitel was kind of the internet in France, but in the 80s, before the internet. And so you could do banking, uh, book train tickets, uh, see your, see your uh, bank account balance, and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it got replaced by the internet, pretty much. Mm. But you've got two of them here. Yes, so um, this is... I think it's exactly the same as you already have. Oh, yeah, yeah, I already have one. <laughs> it's got a different logo. The oh, logo yeah, it's, different it's slightly different. Interesting. We'll have a comparison in a little bit. But um, uh, this one's boxed as well. Yes, so and there's nice. even the technical manual, which is uh, in French. But everything is in there, even the pinout of the serial port, which was really useful uh, because I already built something that can connect to Wi-Fi oh, yeah. <laughs> and it works. So, so this can online. connect uh, to WebSocket servers, Telnet and SSH. So you can connect to Raspberry Pi and run comments on stuff like that. Or there's people that already host services um, where you can chat. Uh, you can even play uh, ASCII version of Star Wars. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, so what does it do when you turn on? Evidently um, not. Oh, <laughs> it does nothing. It will display nothing because it's, it's just cool. a dumb terminal. Yes. <laughs> so we're so gonna get it hooked you, in. You can plug it two ways. Either the old telephone uh, French uh, plug, uh, but I mean there's no service anymore. But that's also something I'm trying to work on. Um, I want to build something that could work with the telephone exchange maybe one day mm -hmm. so you would do it like the other day uh, the other all other days so you would phone the uh, server and then hand it off to the minitel and then you could use it via phone otherwise there's a plug on the back which funnily enough is the same thing as midi and yeah, so i just bought a midi cable on amazon and cut it off and if i do function P4, it will change the baud rate, and then I can restart the ESP. And if it's... I'm not sure I got the resistor in the... Oh, no, it's not connected. Oh! -ho. <laughs> so that's a, um, a pull-up resistor. I'm not sure if it's the right pin. I think it's the other one. Yes, that's it. Uh, yeah, the SSID is IP'd myself because I was at the friend's place to try it. So this is um, um, an Arduino sketch I found on the internet made by this guy, Luis H. And uh, Francesco. Uh, and so uh, with this, you can connect to multiple services that have already been made. So the few first are, were already baked in. I added some stuff like Star Wars and... Uh, um, so we should be able to connect it to, um, to Wi-Fi. So I'll just create a network. So it would be... Uh, so for here, there's a, oh, I forgot something. Uh, you need to run it in 80 columns mode and you can change it by pressing six. Ah, yes. So there are some comments on there. Um, so on this one, the Star Wars, it's very, very slow. So I'm not sure it's going to be, wait. So that's the 20th century Fox. Uh... Oh yeah. <laughs> so it will take a while. Wow. The Minitel can provide 8.5 volts. Eight works on the five volt pin. There's a five voltage volt. regulator to yeah. it, so it regulates it down, so, so that's all right. Usually it's to, um, because the ESP runs on three volts, so yeah, the regulator yeah. would bring down five volts to, to three. Yeah. Yeah, so that's fine, it works. That's all right, that's good. <laughs> that's handy then. Yeah. 
I'm not sure how long it will take, so let's do something else. Alright, that's cool. Um, so how this, long do you reckon the um, the Star Wars is? Oh, I'm not sure because this is the whole movie that has yeah, been made yeah. by someone. And it takes look. about two seconds per frame. Yeah, so it's going to be funny. So chat that someone has made. And every first Sunday of the month at 8.30pm, uh, there's people on there chatting. It's in French. So yeah, you can register an account uh, with a username and password. And yeah, yeah here they say every uh, Sunday, uh, every first Sunday of the month at 8.30 p.m. We've changed it now. It works perfectly. Yeah, so how FPS, it matches with the screen refresh rate. So it should be way better. Uh, so yeah, um, I mean, there shouldn't be anyone here uh, on the, the channel for now. Oh, so. um, that's cool though. So what else have we got on this? We've got Telstar. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. I think it doesn't work. It's the Teletext. Oh, does it not? Yeah, I think it will say connection failed. Yeah, connection refused. Uh, I tried it and it didn't work. Um, I guess... I'm, I haven't tried everything yet. That's cool. Uh, oh, sometimes it does this when you connect and you have to reset the ESPs for some reason. Also, the Star Wars could maybe work on the Minitel 2. Because this is uh, 4,800 bots, but uh, this one can do 9,600. Okay, so, so that'll it's be twice as fast. Twice as fast, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what this does. Maybe I can. There's a summary, so I guess you can get CNN News or BBC News. I think you get Zork as well. Yeah, so um, uh, BBC it's News. 213 for uh, Europe. Well, this is the way. BBC, United British Kingdom. Scraps Home Energy Efficiency <laughs> Tax Force. So yeah, you can what get the, current news on... Oh, this okay. is awesome. So, for us to do that, we're going to have to, we'll grab, have to grab one of these. Uh, it's an ESP32, you can program it with the Arduino software. It's yeah. pretty much an Arduino with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Mm, that's awesome. F. So this is what you would get back in France in the 90s and 80s. So they would tell you uh, how much you would be charged per minute. So it would be 0 0.12 franc for just for being connected. And then you have tiers for services. So you have, um, how is it called? A SOME is uh, pretty much, uh, well, you need to use the guide. So they tell you which services are uh, available. Uh, for some reason, they added uh, COVID stuff. Uh, to have some statistics about COVID. Just set up another ESP and then we'll have... Yeah, so pull up resistor, you can do between 50 and 100K, that should work. So in France, those were given for free by France Telecom. You just need a landline and they would give you one and then you would pay for the use. So that was, yeah, uh, 12 uh, cents, uh, fr franc cents to use it per minute. And then you have to, on top of it, pay for the service. So you even had like um, sex chats, stuff like that. Yeah. One of the biggest ISP in France, which is free, got started with this. They made, uh, Xavier Niel, he made money by having chat and all that stuff on the Minitel. <laughs> <laughs> How much, how much do these cost in France? Like, there's loads of them. Yeah, so uh, this one uh, was five euros at the garage sale, and this one was 10 because it had the box. So there's so many of them still sitting. Do you yeah. reckon there's loads just sitting in people's lofts? Oh yeah, 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 for sure. That's <laughs> that's why you can still find them at garage sales. Yeah. People are still getting rid of them because everyone had one. But this one, which was uh, I got from UK, <laughs> like in America they're a little bit more expensive. This was about thirty pounds. Oh, it's got a contrast on it. Oh yeah. yeah well, well, the contrast is here on those. Yeah, ones. also. It's here. Uh, oh, this one. It's it's, it's kind of special. It has something built in if you turn it on. You see the green light and it means it's off. If you turn it on, it turns red. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. But what it has is a phone book. So you oh. can record, uh, I think, yeah, you can record 10 uh, phone numbers. And uh, unlike the other ones, you don't have to use a phone. It would call the server for you. So here, yeah, you would specify which one to call. You can even put a password on there. 
for some reason. Uh, I guess it's to avoid child using it and cost a lot of money. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, I remember when I was a kid, we were not allowed to press this because when you press this, it turns on the relay, which you can hear, and it pretty much turns on the phone lines. I wonder how many different revisions are, because even just here, neither, none of them are the same. Yeah, they, they, it went up to even flat screen ones with color and all that stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I remember we had a Windows 98 PC, and there was a mini telemina emulator on there, which would use the modem card. Uh, and we could use the modem on the computer and it, it was so much faster because the baud rate was so much higher. Yeah, property of the state PTT, which was France Telecom, so that's Post -tele uh, Telegraph Telephone. So they belong to the government, pretty much. But once... Oh yeah, there's a date on that. Oh yeah, it's 80... Uh, so that's end of warranty, it was 88. So... Oh, but it's it an 85 as well. 290485. Oh, yeah. For a year warranty. Uh, I guess so. The Minitel 2 can run at twice the speed of the old one. So now it's running the Star Wars thing, but at twice the speed. So this one is still in the intro of the 20th century. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this one is already at the scrolling text at the beginning of the wow. movie. Wow. And this one was far too slow. This one's yeah. an even older one than this. Yeah, year, it's I four times slower than this one. So, so yeah, this one is just starting to. Uh, so this is at 4800? Uh, yeah, 4800, uh, uh, 9600. And this um, one would only go up to 1200. 12, 12, yeah. 1200, that's quite a difference, isn't it? Yes. And you can see the, the, the screen, the, well, the text is scrolling so much faster on, on this one. How cool is that? So it's got a different, basically on the Arduino sketch, you just specify the baud rate, mm -hmm. and that's it. Oh, is that quick? Yeah. Yeah. And you have to match up the board right when you load yeah. it, do you? So this one, uh, I think I saw 92. Yeah. Yeah, 92. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. Amazing. Oh, well, there's the date here. So 46th week, uh, week of uh, 93. Ah, I said yeah. just before Christmas. Yeah, just before Christmas, yeah. 1993. <laughs> oh, oh, oh we've both got... Oh, you managed it. Star Wars still going to be running. I hope so, but I think because hey. yeah, yeah, that's a that's a spaceship. <laughs> oh, ah. you can see Star Wars. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is the popular way to enjoy Star Wars. <laughs> R2D2 and C C3PO. That's pretty good. <laughs> but Lulu, thank you very much. And how can we see more about any of your projects? Is there a YouTube channel? Well, yeah, it's all in French, but I have a YouTube channel. I'm also on Twitter, Blue Sky, Mastodon, whatever, all that stuff. So yeah. Lulu Lombard. <laughs> awesome. Well, if you want to come and look, have a look at these, then uh, pop over to this museum. It's obsolete. I'll try and figure out if we can get that one going. Maybe <laughs> it's so slow. Quick, before we end this video, you've got you got Pong going on it. Yes. <laughs> so it, this is another Arduino sketch, is it? Yes, it's another another Arduino sketch. It's on the same um, GitHub repo. Maybe I should distract it so it wins. Uh, I'll send you the link so you yeah. can put it in the description of the video. That'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs>